Hi, I'm Kevin Christopher. I am the co-founder with Jess Wilson of the Saints and Poets Production Company. We're a Burlington area theater company. We actually took our name from a line in Thornton Wilder's classic play, Our Town, my favorite line and my favorite play in all of drama. And uh, you're about to watch the film version of Our Town. Uh, Our Town was written by Wilder in the mid to late 1930s. Uh, it had its first productions in 1938 when it also won the Pulitzer Prize, uh, Wilder's second Pulitzer. Uh, the film came along in 1940, so not long after. Our Town was directed by Sam Wood. Uh, he also directed a couple of the classic Marx Brothers comedies. He did uh, Pride of the Yankees, Goodbye Mr. Chips, uh, and curiously he filled in for Victor Fleming for about a month on Gone with the Wind when Fleming had to leave because of exhaustion. Our Town was uh, adapted for the screen by Wilder himself, along with a man named Harry Chandley and another man named Frank Craven. Craven actually uh, plays the stage manager in the film version uh, and had originated that role as well on the New York stage in the debut production there. Our Town was a, a pretty big success. It uh, received Academy Award nominations for Best Picture, as well as Best Original Score and uh, Best Actress for Martha Scott, who played Emily in the film. Uh, I think these days it's probably uh, best remembered for its score. It's an original Aaron Copland score. Uh, it uses that score, I think, very well, uh, sparingly and uh, unsentimentally, which is uh, maybe a little surprising given that it's such a, such a popular and legendary composer as Copland. Uh, there are lots of reasons to recommend this film, and I think a few reasons to question its existence. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about what to recommend uh, in, in the film version of Our Town first. It um, has uh, some great uh, set decoration and matte painting. Uh, like so many films of its times, it's completely on sound stages. Uh, the set decoration was actually done by a man named uh, Harry Horner, uh, father of the late and uh, also legendary film composer James Horner. Uh, and it's, it's really a, a great collection of sets and uh, set pieces around uh, Grover's Corners, New Hampshire, where the play and the film are set. Uh, there's some, some terrific cinematography, uh, great tracking shots. Um, there are a couple of, of terrific looking sequences in the film, in particular the uh, church choir scene, which is a, has always been for me a standout scene in the play as, as well as uh, this film. Uh, act three of the film, which is uh, set in, primarily in the cemetery in Grover's Corners, uh, has some really interesting lighting, um, some really interesting staging for the film. There are also some uh, terrific edits. Uh, there's one in particular where the stage manager just puts his hand over the camera lens and we cut to something else to, to give the effect of, of a, a single take there. Uh, I particularly enjoy, uh, there's a running bit with the Webb family cat as a device to get us from one set to the next or one scene to the next uh, that I, uh, I think is, is pretty clever. There are some great performances in this film. Um, Frank Craven as the stage manager I think brought a lot of what Wilder had intended. Uh, Wilder um, said that the, the play should be produced simply, dryly, and sincerely, and I think that really shows up in Craven's performance uh, that he probably brought over from the stage. Uh, it's, it's unsentimental, as I think that character should be. Um, he's just showing you what life is in Grover's Cor Corners, New Hampshire, and at that time in American history. There's a young William Holden as uh, George Gibbs, uh, looking, looking spry and uh, charming as ever in our town. Um, all of the, the, the parents, the Gibbs family and the Webb family, I think are, uh, are terrific as well. Um, they're all playful and charming. Uh, Martha Scott plays Emily. She um, originated that uh, on the Broadway stage. She, uh, how do I put this kindly? She maybe didn't modulate her performance as much as she could have for the screen. Uh, I think uh, she has great moments, and, but uh, is, is also pretty big most of the time. The interesting thing about watching a film version of Our Town, I think, is um, questioning what the nature uh, and purpose of adaptation is and what, uh, what responsibility uh, an adaptation has to its source material. Wilder really wrote the play I think in response to a lot of what was going on in theater at the time, there was a, a big move toward naturalism on the stage. You had uh, sort of the, the socialist uh, plays of Clifford Odets. 
and I think Wilder was attempting to, to make something that was inherently theatrical. Um, Our Town is a meta-theatrical play. It uh, starts off by saying, here we are in the theater. Uh, you're going to see a bunch of actors. We're going to talk right to you. We're going to ask you questions. Uh, we're going to show you a theatrical performance. The main character is a stage manager, the stage manager of this play. Uh, and when you adapt that for film, um, you're taking it, you're ripping it out of its natural home. And I don't know that that is uh, the best way to present this story. There's a lot of uh, direct address in the play uh, that they bring over um, for the film, so a lot of breaking of the fourth wall, a lot of talking directly to the viewer. In the play uh, is just, um, it's part of the world that's created uh, at the outset. I think in the film it's, it can be a little uh, jarring, uh, especially when the stage manager is asking questions of the audience in the theater. Uh, and you have these, these uh, disembodied voices screaming out uh, those questions. The big failing for me of the film as an adaptation is uh, the way it treats Act 3. Uh, I think Wilder and his co-writers thought that the original ending of the play would not play well um, for film audiences. So instead of Emily dying, um, Emily kind of has a dream sequence, uh, basically. Uh, so we get all of, all of what happens in the play with Emily in the cemetery, talking to her mother-in-law, talking to other people from the town who have, have passed away, but um, then she wakes up. Uh, and uh, that really, I think, uh, robs the play of, uh, or robs uh, the story uh, in the film of, of much of what it's trying to say about um, the way we live our lives, uh, the way we uh, approach life, and the fact that the world keeps turning and uh, we're, just, we're just part of this continuum. Um, so for me, the film doesn't ultimately work because uh, of, of what it takes to make it a film uh, and what it takes away from the play to make it a film, and because it, it uh, changes what I think is a really important ending. My biggest problem with the movie is that in changing that ending, you take away the uh, the line, well, the saints and poets, they do some, which, uh, as I mentioned, is my favorite line in all of drama and uh, the, uh, the reason we named our theater company what we did. Um, so thanks, Our Town, for ruining that for me. But I hope you enjoy uh, the film adaptation, 1940, Our Town.